Okay, so we're going to do 4.2. 4.2 says, John cons is considers moving from Toronto in Canada to either Cape Town or Ekuruleni in South Africa. And as you see, shows a comparison of the water tariff in some of the metropolitan areas. John estimates that he will be using an average of 45 kiloliters of water per month. Use an extra C to calculate. Right, let's look at this. An extra C 4.2 Cape Town residential commercial. Oh, we have two. This is a stepping water thing for stepping. And then here it says fixed monthly cost 104 in cape town with the water prices as well and the fixed cost and then here it says if you were using a commercial or industrial you pay a fixed cost of 104.50 and you don't use this kind of thing here you just multiply your liters by kiloliters by 27 rand okay and then we have tegwini which is fixed monthly cost not available so there's no extra payments there you just calculate with this and pay nothing extra but if you are in a commercial uh, building you will pay 291.84 um, fixed cost and you also pay per kiloliter on top of the fixed cost. If you are in, at Eguruleni, you then pay, you will find yourself paying no fixed cost, right? But uh, you will pay using the stepped, uh, what, um, stepped um, tariff. A table and then if you are at a commercial you will not pay fixed cost but there is a stepped table here and then we have um johannesburg the fixed cost there is 26 rand and 52 cents and we have a stepped uh tariff there so you pay that plus your fixed cost and if you are in an industrial you pay 234.7 fixed cost and then you also pay according to the stepped um tariff here so what i'm going to do is before we go to the question i'm going to go through all the steps here in the residential since the question is asked only for residential i'm going to go through all of these first um looking at the what you call this we're going to look at the um, these tables okay so if I'm calculating for water here, the first thing I need to do is to find the missing uh, um, column, right? Which is called the maximums. Right? So what I'm going to do is, what is the maximum number from 0 to 6? It is... Six because there's nothing before that, so I'm just going to use only the information there. Then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say ten comma five minus six, and that's going to give me four comma five, which is the maximum. And then here I'm going to say thirty five minus ten comma five. So I'm going to say four uh, thirty five minus ten ten comma Ugh. 45 minus 10 comma 5 and that gives me 34 comma 5 and then uh, whatever is left I'm going to calculate there then I come to this stepped one here it says the maximum is 6 and then we're going to say 25 minus the 6 up there 25 minus 6 and then we get 19 and then we're going to say 30 minus the 25 up there which is um, 30 minus the 25 up there. That gives us 5. And then um, this one says, we're going to say 45 minus the 30 up there. We're going to get 15. And then whatever's left to calculate there. And then this one, we're going to say 6. Oh, the 6 is here. And then the second one will say 15 minus the 6 up there. And we have 9. And then this one, we're going to say 30 minus the 15 there. We have 15. And we're going to say 45 minus the 15, the 30. 45 minus the 30 up there. We're going to get 15 here. And whatever's left, we'll leave it here. Now the last one from Johannesburg. 
six to zero to six is six, and then we're gonna say ten minus six is just four. And then we say fifteen minus that ten up there, five. Twenty minus that fifteen up there is five. 30 minus that 20 is 10, 40 minus that 30 is 10, and 50 minus that 40 is 10, and whatever's left, we'll leave it there, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to our water, which is 45. We're just practicing how to do this calculation. 45, oh, let's do the, the Johannes back one. We have 45 kiloliters, right? And then it says here the maximum on row one is six so you can only leave six or you can calculate only for six there so we're going to leave the six and have 39 kiloliters and then we're going to come to row two say only calculate for four so i'm just going to use four kiloliters there and then be left with 35 kiloliters then i'm going to go to row three i'm going to say on row three I can only put calculate five. Therefore, I'm just going to leave five there. And then uh, that's going to be calculated on row three. And then what I'm going to do next is go to row four and say, since now that I have 30 kiloliters, let's see what happens. No, we can only calculate for five there. And therefore, we're going to be left with 25. That's left with row four. Then we go to row five and say we can only leave 10 kiloliters there and therefore that's for row five and we're going to left with 15. Then we go to row six and row six, row six can only take 10 kiloliters. You see that? We have 15 kiloliters. We're on row six and row six can only take 10. So we're just going to leave the 10 and be left with five. And that's for row six. We have now five kiloliters and therefore we have to go to row seven and we can, we, five can fit there. So we don't have to do anything else. We say this five that's left here, we're going to calculate on row seven. Okay, so I'm just going to go to the... I'm going to go through the 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 how tang one, the Johannes spec one. So we're going to start from the beginning. Six kiloliters and do the calculations there. So if you look at row one, it says zero rands for six kiloliters. So we're just going to say six kiloliters times zero rands plus, and then we're going to say four kiloliters in row two is 18 rand 99. So four times 18 rand 99 plus, and then we're going to go to row three and say five, the five kiloliters is 19 rand and 90. See how I check here, not here. I'm, I'm done with this. I'm taking the money now. So I'm saying five kiloliters multiplied by the money in row three, which is 1982 plus and then i'll go to row four which is five times row four 27.5 five times 27.79 plus and i say 10 in row five one two three four five 38 point four so it's 10 times 38.40 plus and then i go to row six row six is 52 rent um row five row six is 42 rands so we're going to say in row six i have 10 10 times 52 rands Ugh, what did i do one two three four five one two three four five okay Row 6 is 42 rands, so say if times 42 rands, multiplied by plus the last one there, which is 5 in row 7, which is row 5 times 52 rands and 99 cents. See that? And then I just add it all up and get the answer. Then once I get the answer here, I'm also going to add, because here there's fixed and say plus six twenty six rands and fifty two cents off fixed the cost. Now let's answer the question. So okay, the question says John states that if he chooses to live in Cape Town, he will be paying three thousand six hundred rand more 
per year compared to a person living in Egorleni who also uses 45 kiloliters of water. So we have to prove that that is true. So he's not, they're not saying he's paying 3,600 rand. He's, they're saying, he, or they're not saying he's paying more than 3,600 rand. No, they're saying there's an amount that is say paying, whether he's paying 10,500 rand, but that money is more by 3,600 rand from the money that is being paid in uh, Ekulu Rail. Now, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. First, we need to find out how much is being paid in Cape Town and how much is being paid in Ekuruleni, and then we can deal with them all or whatever. And then we have 4.5 in row 2. Uh, and then we're left with... 34.5 kiloliters and then we go to row three we live 24.5 kiloliters in row three and then we're left with five 34.5 minus 24.5 and we're left with 10.9 34.5 minus 24.5 and we're left with 10. 10 kiloliters. And if we go to the next row, then we can just leave that on row 4. Okay, so the cost now is equal to 6 times the money, which is 15.10 plus 4.5 times 20.75 plus... 24.5 times 28.5 plus 52.04 plus 10 times 52.04, right? So we have 6 times 15.1, which is 90.6. And then we have 4.5 times 20.75. That is 93.375 plus 24.5 times 28.5. That is 698.25 plus 10 times 52.04. And that is 520.4. Right. And then... We have the money for Cape Town, which is 90.6 plus 93.375 plus 698.25 plus 520.4. And that gives us 1,402.625. Then we had something about fixed cost. That's 104.5 plus 104.5 which will then give us 1507.125. And this is for the month, therefore for a year. Remember it said here on the question, the question said, more per year for the entire year. So we're gonna multiply that by 12 and get, one eight zero eight five point five zero. Then we're going to go to the next one, which is Ekuruleni. First, we're going to find the water in Ekuruleni. There, I'm just going to check because the first time I did the calculations wrong here, so I'm just going to check um, the maximum fifteen. Minus 6 is 9, and that one is 30 minus 15, 15, and that one 45 minus 30, and that's 15. Okay, that's fine. We can use a Kuruleni now. So we're going to say 45 kiloliters minus the first one, which is 6, and we have 39 left. That is on 1, and then we have minus 9, and that is 30 left. Second one, and then we check here, we're minus 15, we're left with 15, and then we go there, 15 fits there, and we have 404, it ends at row 4. 
Then we're going to calculate the cost and say cost is equal to uh, 6 times 13.5 plus uh, 9 times 22.24 plus 15 times 27.24 plus this 15 left here times row 4 which is 33.90 and then we have 6 times 13.5 which is 81 plus 9 times 22.24 which is 200.16 and then we have 15 times 27.24 which is 408.6. But then 15 times 33.9, 508.5. Now, nah, shall let me think in now. What equipment can we buy for you? This is a range of the equipment that you can use to do thingy. So that one there will be 81 plus 200.16 plus 408.6 plus 508.5 1198.26 so we're going to multiply that mm -mm. first we check fixed cost not available so for the fixed cost we're just going to say plus zero and move on which is equal to one one 98.26 okay so the next step is we're going to multiply that by 12 and get 14,379 rent and 12 cents and then we're going to say the difference 18,085 minus 14,379.12 and we have Three thousand seven hundred and five point eight eight. Again, if I made a mistake, please point it out. But it looks to me like it will be more by this money, and therefore the the statement is not true.